Hi guys, welcome back. So in the previous one, we talked about a server file in SwellKit. In this one, we're going to talk about adding a blog section to our website. If you look at the reference site that we have, it doesn't have a blog section, but in this one, we are going to add it. There are quite a few ways to add it. Uh, two of the most used ones are using markdown files in, uh, in your uh, source, you know, um, individual markdown files will be individual blog posts uh, that is one way of doing it the other one is uh, using a cms like uh, you get the post from wordpress or uh, some other cms that you have and it is uh, it's through api now we are gonna look into the second way that is through api and this would be the easiest i would say okay then let's get started so I am going to add a block section right away in this uh, menu here. So I will go to the navbar and maybe copy this. So it's good that we simplified our navbar so we can just add things without touching much of the HTML. So blog is already there and uh, there is no route of that sort. So I'm going to add a page. I'll call this. Yeah, it has to be blog. And I'll have a page there. And I'll have some text. Now, if I go to this page, okay, it's here. So I'm going to have to get it to the middle. So I'm going to use div.container and then have this text. And this is good. Now, we are going to get the post from this API, which is JSON placeholder. So it has uh, this slash posts api which gives us like a hundred posts i think so it has user id id title and body not much i mean it doesn't have image i wish it had image but yeah so that's that's okay so we're gonna get that and we can use a page.js file or a page.server.js file so we're gonna have a load function here export const load and it's gonna be an asynchronous function and also this time i'm not gonna forget um the fetch and once that is done we are going to return uh posts so yeah so let's get the posts uh, i'll have const response equals await fetch and i copied that link i'm going to paste here and now um i'll get the data or const uh, post equals we have to wait again rest start json so we are gonna get the you know um, json from it so now our post will be ready i think um how do we check that so here we make the data accessible script in script tag export let data now if we console the data i'm using a reactive declaration here uh just to be just to make sure you know it's it's not undefined in the beginning or something so yeah oh, our uh, blog is i mean our website is not responsive we'll we'll look into that at some point okay so we are getting posts so we can do something like uh, const posts we'll destructure it here equals data mm. Now we should have posts, so we'll do something here. So I'll have a H, H1 or H2 maybe here. I'll call this blog post or something. And also I'll have a each loop, each post as singular post. And I'll end the loop. And inside, uh, or maybe outside itself, I will have an unordered list. And inside I'll have a list item and then an a tag then here it would be I don't know right now we are not gonna use any you know we are not gonna do anything but here that's okay uh, we need post or title here and uh, anything else uh, that should be enough so we are getting it already so all right, let's style this a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go here and add the style. So list item, maybe margin bottom. 
point by em or something so that should do it yeah uh we can also do uh for something for the a tag which is uh text decoration maybe none and then on hover we will have uh, a text decoration of underline so when you hover it should show the underline yeah that, so that should be good so here is it's like trying to get something uh when i hover on it so Swellkit it does it by default if you know in app.html you know there is this line when you hover on any link it will try to get the you know uh, get it if it is an internal link uh but at this point there is nothing right so i think it's going to okay slash one slash two yeah so we are going to change that but anyway so we get a list of all this and we are getting hundreds of those which may not be ideal uh we should have some kind of pagination or something so i'll do one thing i'll get only few all posts here and uh, const post equals all post dot slice only get uh, like 10 of those at this moment uh but you know uh, the way you should be doing it is like you, know, you should have a button here at the bottom uh, which which says next or something or load more and you click on it and it shows the you know uh, next set of posts or something or you can also have infinite scrolling where it shows all the posts when you keep scrolling all these things are possible and we'll see which one like maybe i will do the you know next and previous way of doing it but anyway so for now this is enough now we we only get 10 of them and uh yeah so uh, right now we don't have uh, individual posts right page for individual posts so how do we do that is you can have some folder outside or i'll do something inside here so which is uh, ideal i'll have id and here i'll have uh, a page uh, i'll call this post now uh, if the link is not proper because it should be slash blog slash uh, you know uh, post id i'll just have that as well now it is proper now if i you know click on it it shows the post so if i you know i click on any of the those things it will always show post i'll just show you so this is good yeah so all of them are showing the same thing so this uh, square brackets that we used is a dynamic route so uh, you can have anything here after blog if you have anything that will like uh, that will show this page uh, that will be uh, what do you say um, identified as id so i can have anything here like it's four now so i can have something here that will still be shown the same page and this will be the id anyway so uh, here we need another uh, page dot js or page dot server dot js we need a load function here as well i'll just copy the same load function to this one as well so in this case we want to get the id so that we can get individual posts how do you get individual posts here in json uh, you know placeholder if you want the first post you just type slash one and you get it so what we want here is slash one right so if you have slash one let's let me try with slash one so uh, all post is not required because we are i think here we can just do post we can remove this and we'll be returning post and in the page i'll go here and have a script tag export let uh, data and uh, we can destructure to post here itself data and now uh, we can have a h2 here with or h1 saying post dot title and uh, we'll also have a p tag showing the content which is uh, in our case it's body 
So now if I go to uh, individual post, yeah, this is the individual post and it shows it, right? So this is the first one because uh, we only got the first one. So if I go to any other post, it will be the one that will that will show here. So we can get this ID, uh, whatever the part of this URL here using params. Now if I console that, and i should have it here yeah so in our console we see this id as six right now that is that is the page we were in so it shows that so i can either do like you know const id equals params dot id or i can destructure here itself something like this so i don't need another line here and that id can be put here so how do we that will this work it will not we might want to convert this into a string literal here and then use dollar sign to get this yeah, so this should be okay and uh, now we get the particular post yeah so this is different than what we saw previously now so this uh, seven eight these numbers i don't really like those numbers uh, i wish we had slug instead um, which will be usually like used as a permalink here instead of seven we'll have something like magnum or so, something so that would be great for for search engine optimization uh, this this won't hurt at this moment because we are not targeting anything but yeah so if you get a chance of having a slug use it instead of uh, id and uh, yeah so once that is done so our blog is pretty much ready so if you if you go here you you do see these blog posts all right we are going to stop here and we'll continue this in the next video thank you bye bye